Okay, hello again everybody. This is the tutorial for the simple card trick, do as I do. Um, this is also the a uh, this is also a trick that you can, which you which you are likely to use the Ruben spread technique for. So if you don't know how to do this, then um, you should check out my tutorial on how to. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to do first off is you're going to shuffle the pack in front of the spectator or get them to shuffle the pack uh, themselves. I'm just going to do this kind of shuffle. Nice. Actually I'll just do a quick ruffle shuffle. Okay. Okay then, so now what you're going to do is split the pack in half and tell Let's ask the spectator if they think that's roughly in half, okay? Is that roughly in half? It is. So you're going to give one half to them, it doesn't matter which half, and you're going to keep your half, okay? Now, you're going to tell the spectator to go through their pack, select a card, and put it face down on the table, or wherever, just keep it face down. If you're doing, it, if you're doing street magic, then just hold it in your other hand, face down, okay? Right, so while they're picking out their card, while they're picking out their card, you're going to remember your top face up card because that's your card. Okay, it doesn't matter about any other card, that's your card, the Queen of Clubs. You're going to spin it over, so you're going to be looking through the pack like this. Well, so while they're looking through the pack like this, you're pretending and you're going to flip over the top card, remembering that card. In this case, the Queen of Clubs. And then you're going to take another card, flip it over. To uh, this is this card has no relevance to the trick at all. That's just um, a cut. That's just like a a uh, fal a false herring, a red herring card. That's that's not actually going to be your card, okay? So I just take the bottom one like this, and I just put it face down. And then I put the pack, which is actually all face up, and my card face down on top, right? So you've done all that while they're picking through their card, and let's say they pick this card, and their cards, their decks all face down, so they do this as well, okay? Now they remember their card, in this case this is 10 of diamonds, okay? My card which doesn't mean anything is the 9 of diamonds, okay, because this is your card, remember that as your card, not this as your card. Don't even look at this card, okay? Just put it down. Now you're going to say, I'm going to take your card, like this, without looking at it, and I'm going to put it into the center of my pack, okay? So now it's face down along with your card, okay? And then they're going to do the same without looking at this completely pointless card, but don't tell them it's pointless, and they're going to put, and they're going to put it into their pack, okay? So now every card is face down. Now you're going to say to them, I'm going to keep my pack face down, even though they're all face up already. You're going to say, I'll keep, I'm going to keep my pack face down. You flip, you cut that in half, flip it, and put one half on the top, and then flip the other one, and put that on the bottom. And what's that done, that, what, what that's done is it's made every single card face up except for your two cards. You're going to ribbon spread them out because this is where the ribbon spread comes in. And then you're going to ask what was your card. Reassure them they can tell you what what their card was. Okay, so you're going to say the ten of diamonds. The card to the left is always the ten of diamonds. Your card's always to the right. Okay, so you're going to go. Okay, so we'll take out uh, these two cards. Which one was your card? Uh, and they're going to go. My card was the ten of diamonds. And then you're going to say my card was the queen of clubs. Well, in this case it is. It's not going to be the relevant card that they put in the deck. That's somewhere in here, and it's completely unnecessary. That's just a, it's a, sort of like a gimmick, okay? And then you're going to go, really, because the only two face-down cards were our cards. Okay? That is the do-as-I-do trick. Um, it's got a good effect on people, because... Um, they are in it. They they're taking part. They are participating in this trick, and I think I feel that when someone's participating in to, in the trick themselves, it has a bigger effect on people and stays in their mind for a bit longer. Uh, but yeah, that that this was 
card tricks for you. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.